In the next video, we will be looking at layers and groups to make your LED walls more manageable. A good example would be where we have to use the same piece of video content on separate LED walls with the same processor. This can make things very, very messy very, very quickly, as you can see in this video. Good practice if you are laying panels on top of each other is to use layers and groups. Add your first set of panels onto the canvas and after you have drawn the panels, select Group Fixtures on the right hand side. Confirm everything by pressing Enter and escaping to the main menu. Now, when you select one of the panels, all of them in that group are selected. You can also change the colour of the group here and rename it accordingly. Next, click on the Layers button in the top right corner of your canvas and add another layer. Again, you can rename it here by double clicking too. Add your panels to that layer, group them and rename them. It's also possible to move fixtures to a different layer later. Let's create another group of panels on the same layer and then add them on top. Confirm everything and then create a new layer, select the panels and then right click on them to move them to the other layer. You now have three walls placed on top of each other but in a lot more manageable configuration. If you now need to scale your content to all of the walls, select the panels and enter the scaler. You can now scale your content to snap to selection. If you need to still select panels individually, you can do this by holding down the shift key. This also highlights the panel in the offline menu should you need to troubleshoot anything. Groups are also handy when we come to using presets and live control, but we'll cover that in a later video. This should have given you some tips and tricks for how to manage your walls, layers and groups. See you in the next tutorial.